Warning, proceed with caution. The thoughts and views that these individuals have or speak on are for entertainment only. The hosts of this podcast are from the streets and for the streets. Please consume responsibly. All right, Pala Calle, episode number 21. Welcome back. Bienvenidos back to the studio. I missed you guys. I miss being here. I mean, he was like, you haven't posted. I'm like, I don't want to fucking post us in our house, in our room, on the cameras. Like, I'm, I mean, me gusta vernos así. Mm. Que se vea. Just kidding. So I just wasted my time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Two weeks, thanks. Oh, yeah, no, it was uh, good to catch up. Shout out to all of our fans, our friends who stuck by our side when I was sick, when Vinny was sick, when Juju got us sick. Um, pero we're here. And it's December. Este es mi amigo el Grinch. Y este compa lo vamos a dejar. They can't hear you. Ese es mi compa el Grinch y lo vamos a dejar allá atrás. Where can I move to? Anyway, it's fine. Um, my mother-in-law asked me to buy a piñata for las posadas. And that's what you got? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just no. It's just like one eye's yellow, one eye's white. You usually have really good taste when it comes to Is that on purpose? The white and yellow eye? And the penis nose? (laughs) (laughs) You guys fucking judging el compa? He looks like a compa. His eyes are his eyes are like that for real though? What do you mean? One's yellow. One's yellow, one's white. If you don't know that, if you didn't notice that. Look at his (laughs) buns. And then his shoes. He's wearing heels. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was great. I didn't know if this was like one of those things, you know, Pancho Villa had. <laughs> or a scar. Oh. I thought he was cool AF. Like, Oh, it's cool. It's cool. I mean, it's a piñata. And, and the best part, you can't see, but it says, Hecho en Mexico. So I bought it to support. It's cool. Some white guy put that. <laughs> He's like, mm-hmm, hecho in Mexico. But I tell you what, Leo Enchilada, I was a little disappointed because I did go to L.A. to buy El Compa, and they're expensive. When did everything go up? Everything's so freaking expensive. You, even going to TJ, it's like, you get to go deep in the cut. Like, yeah. Like, way, like, almost in Sanada to get, like, good, actual cool prices. It's, we've been gentrified, huh? It's official. Ya valió yeah. queso. Well, cause you know how much money people have. I, I there was this beautiful piñata. I should have took a picture, and I was like, "Wow, that piñata is beautiful, beautiful." As in, it looked Aztec, like uh, Mexican, like with colors, and it was this big star. It was beautiful, and I said, "How much is it?" He told me a hundred and fifty dollars. Oh yeah, I've seen stuff like that for a piñata. Who's buying piñatas for a hundred and fifty dollars? I, listen, my dad called me a chillona the other day because he's like, Melissa, you're always complaining about money. And I'm like, it's just crazy to me. Inflation, I ordered, yo. I asked a girl, hey, how much for this cake? And she was like $190. But if you really think about it, let me put my business cap on. They're not doing nothing different that the big companies are doing. I read today that inflation rose 14% from when COVID started to now. But companies posted 75% more profit. Yeah. So, I mean, if they're getting away with it. You're still going to Target, right? You still go to Target. You still do what you got to do. $190 for a cake is wild. Hey, but imagine you only sell two of those, but you still got to pay a $2,000 rent on a one-bedroom apartment. Yeah. I kind of feel like I would pay for that before. Like, I don't know at what point I switched a little bit. Because I'm sure, like, even, like, the balloon garland and stuff. money's a little tight now. <laughs> for everyone. Because our buck doesn't go as far as it used to. It's, like, $500 for the balloon garland. And, and um, mind you, uh, shout out to... That person. Shout out to Julie's Rentals. She always put her Instagram here. She always hooks it up. She does an amazing job. Um, and she even, when we were talking, I was talking about going and donating for the kids and people to go sign up. She's like... I make balloons like can I is there anything I can donate Um, her and her sister Carla's uh, jumpers also they always give me really good deals but I think now like sometimes I shop in the real world and I'm like 500, 600 dollars for a balloon garland that's crazy and there's people who pay for it 
I would probably pay for it. I'm just in a different place right now that I'm like, oh. Again, because our dollar doesn't go as far as it used to. Like, man, like, like we just, I know, it's just, just like, the bills are getting more, but my paycheck is getting higher. It's the same paycheck. Not gonna like, okay, not gonna stop this. And I have this cake here for Isaac's birthday, his third birthday, and I'm sure I paid a pretty penny for that. And I just for Mateo, I'm gonna go get him a Costco cake. I'm not paying a hundred and Costco cakes are fire. Yeah, I am liking this. People going back to non so much like uh, theme parties. Yeah. Like back in the day when we were kids, it was like, oh, there's some balloons, there's some Costco cake or like a yeah. cake from super. And then, like, when my nieces were born, it was like, oh, it's, uh, this is Abby Cadabby, it's Sesame Street, it's this and this. And it's like, yeah. damn. And everything was theme. Yeah. Uh, things in the table. And some people still go all out. Like, my best friend, Le hizo a beautiful baptism of su daughter. Y tenía de todo, the garlands, the centerpieces, los manteles, rento. Like, just everything, pink and white and pink and white. And it looked beautiful. She had banda, she had a taquero. And I'm like, I'm just not doing that for my kids anymore. It's so much time. It's so much energy. The kids don't even fucking realize it. Mm-hmm. They don't even care. Like, it's... how big a party did we throw for Casey for baptism? It was it was a decent party. That was for the parents. That was not... Casey, you can remember that? Like, yeah. It's a social media thing, Yeah, honestly. Yeah. And it bigged up all the, all the, uh, the demand for it. I think a lot of people who make cakes and make all that, like balloons and things, they they got smart. Have They're you like, guys seen Armenian parties? Armenian no. weddings. Bro, no. Bro. The par- <laughs> <laughs> Bro, the, no, hey. The parties, the Armenian parties are crazy. Like I seen, like there's this guy, know that he DJs, he's a precise homie, Dreams. Oh, yeah, so DJ he's always Dreams. DJing like, and like, it's like a kid's party, but it's it looks like my Super Sweet 16 on MTV. Yeah. Like, how'd you get the real Mickey Mouse to show up <laughs> to your party? Like, that's crazy and to listen, me. listen, if you got it. Of course. By all means. But absolutely. I just don't know. Like, I can't. I, 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 I won't anymore. Like, even the, you know, I used to buy something as simple. And I'm going to sound really fucking cheap right now. But something as simple as the cake plates. I used to be like, the cake plates need to have the character on it. And the napkins need to have the character on it. Motherfucker, we're eating cake, Costco cake, okay? In the regular plates that we're going to have food in, okay? In the big 50 pa- Like, why would I? As like, should. It's just, for what? Mateo's not going to notice it. Mateo wants his piñata, his candy bags, and his friends to be here in the jumper. That's it. I and that's it. all I'm going to do. But with Isaac, like, I remember I wouldn't even eat. I was always super preoccupied, stressed out, like, activities for the kids and this. And it just, it's for the parents. It's always about, 100%. Like, so. Yeah. I'm not doing that. That being said, Bluey party coming up. Casey's first birthday was <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Are you guys having a DJ? No. No, no. We, like, we weren't, like. They we're, charge we're, too much. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they can't afford me. No, um. <laughs> We were talking about themes because like we, we they went big for the for the baptism. So the we're still gonna throw a party, but it's gonna be very basic. Like it's just gonna have like a color theme, but that's it. Like it's not gonna have characters and stuff like that. Or, like yeah, and we're probably gonna pitch in for a jumper. I mean, I think okay. themes are Call, cool. Uh, Carla's jumpers, she's really good. She'll give you a great deal. I think themes are cool if people like dress the part or bring their own stuff. But when it comes to like the plates and little things, like BYOP, bring your own party. Yeah. Bring your own party. Yeah. Come no, on. like like if you're having a bluey party, like make everything blue and then have people show up in bluey shirts. That'd be fine. Like that's I think that's how I look at it. Yeah. But you don't I don't think you need the bluey piñata and Well, the kids will see it. Like Casey will see the bluey piñata. Do you know yeah. what I mean? And it's not that expensive, which by the way, I saw them at downtown LA. How much were they? Um, it wasn't I the Piñata y Mateo, it's like a big cake piñata, and it has balls in there for kids because, you know, they don't eat the fucking candy. They're balls. Um, it was $30. Yeah, but a Bluey themed? Yeah. As popular as Bluey is right now, yes. bro? No, no, no. I'm telling you, they weren't that expensive. Let's go. And we, <gasps> in La Calle? Nah, because I'm going to get pressured into buying an expensive piñata. No, we can the go cameras. and then they have Nah, because I'm really like an asshole because I barter with people. You sh- oh, as hey, you barter, should. It's all about barter. I barter no, like crazy. as you should. I told yeah. them I'm gonna buy three piñatas. I don't know. Did you buy that? some pants? Some overpriced pants? No, ones? not there. <laughs> they weren't overpriced. They were nice. <laughs> <laughs> Only worn once. No, I've worn them two, three times already. 
I just don't post it because I already <laughs> posted them. Not that good. <laughs> um, no, there's a ton of bluey stuff. They have like this cute little bluey frame. They have little alcancias de bluey. They, it's really cute. There is a there is a dilemma. What? Her nephew. Whose nephew? Carla's Casey's cousin, who they were born a month apart. Is also doing bluey. Mm-hmm. You, Ooh. She does she like bluey? She loves bluey. So who cares? Tell her to let you borrow the stuff. And see, that's the, again, it's to that whole like the pressure that we get put on to throw a theme party, like back to back themes, month apart. What uh, the baby's not gonna remember that she's not gonna see. Wait a minute, Isaac used to love Elmo. Oh, his first birthday party was fucking Elmo, and Elmo showed up. And that set the fucking bar. I was like, great. Second birthday party, I baptized his ass. So you know, le sacamos el diablo. Third birthday party, Spider Man showed up. <sighs> my shout out. Well, shout out my family too. They're really great. At uh, do it yourselves DIYs, like for Casey's thing, we did the centerpieces. We did that, that. Like my my cousin, my sister in law Lily, for the girls thing, she makes like her. It was been a friend's theme. It's been Wednesday Adam, and she's done it all like for them. Yeah, and Genius. so it's just the backdrop, the cake, the piñata. The kids will be happy. Let's not make that big of a deal uh, of it. Kids like simple things, like Mateo's birthday. He asked for. <laughs> <laughs> he was manipulated. Why do you say that? Mateo asked for sandwiches. So I'm a mom. <laughs> I want to be clear. So Vinny, it's your birthday. What does your mom say? What do you want to eat? Or is that not a thing that you guys, like, does your mom say? Yeah, what do you, what do you yeah want but I don't, I don't really, like, I let everyone pick. have a choice either. Really? It's Fourth of July. Oh, because your brother? No, my brother. <laughs> He's a big eater. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> Actually, <laughs> no, you know what? He likes. You know what? Family decisions, family outings are surrounded by my youngest brother. Boom. For sure. Llamenme we can't have that. Me, they have we can't trips. have that because they don't have chicken teriyaki or some shit. Dang. But <laughs> no, but, but my birthday's 4th of July, so it's different. And it's like a, so everyone's you guys don't celebrating. Ever go to dinner somewhere else like another day or the Yeah, day but after? usually I'm like, whatever you guys want to do. I'm not. I'm not picky like that. I don't. Re- I usually don't know what I want until I'm there either. Mm. You know. So I'm just like, whatever you guys are craving. Does your mom ask you que quieres comer? What do you want? Do you want to go somewhere? Do yeah. I make mm-hmm. you something? So that's where I'm at in my motherhood, right? My kids. Uh, do you want? What do you want to eat? And Jeremiah asked for for his birthday. He asked for wings and finger foods. He really enjoys eating hot wings and stuff like that. French fries. We made homemade French fries. Isaac loves my Alfredo. So he always asked, uh, this year he asked for Alfredo with steak. So I bought like the big steak from Costco, made it, Alfredo with salad. That sounds that was, fire right now. That was his, his dinner, his birthday dinner. So I asked Mateo, Mateo, what do you want? And he said, I really like your sandwiches, mom. <laughs> I don't believe that one bit. I crossed my heart. What kind oh, of sandwiches? Like what was die. like, Just how'd you make it? Like, if it was your husband's, that Italian sandwich? Well, yeah, like I, that, I, I guess. I kind of made them like that, but that's not the way I make them. I make regular, like, I, I send his ass to school with sandwiches once a week. Every Wednesday, because I don't like to cook Wednesdays, I send him to school with a sandwich. And he loves them. You know what she did? She didn't give him a sandwich <laughs> on Wednesday. And no, made him crave did. it. Last oh, week, <laughs> made him crave it. Last game. week he had a sandwich. The manipulation game. Mm-hmm. You guys are wild. Listen What's to what's that me. movie with Will Smith and Margot Robbie where like they start planning the fives? So like I picked the oh yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the gambling one. So yeah. then I say to him, "Are you sure you want sandwiches?" He goes, yeah, I love your sandwiches. She was dressing him in lettuce colored shirts. <laughs> in brown pants. So like then the bread. I go to when Sprouts. When he's she's putting bread over his <laughs> nose <laughs> and throwing away. I go to Sprouts and I always buy like the organic turkey breast. And, you know, but this time I was like, I'm going to go to the deli. And I'm going to have that motherfucker shave that. I want turkey. I want prosciutto. I want salami. Um, he likes pepperoni in his sandwich, you know. I asked for Havarti cheese. Monster hey. cheese. Hey, he's a paisan, huh? <laughs> so I, I made a sandwich really special for his birthday yesterday. I le puse butter uh the pan and I grilled it for him, you know? She saw the movie Chef. But mm. 
I even grabbed the lettuce and I threw a little bit of Italian. <laughs> it's fine. My mouth is getting watery. I have to drink something. To... Uh, the lettuce, I chopped it up real fine and then I put a little bit of Italian dressing on it with salt and pepper, you know, like the Jersey Mike's. So I really tried to dress up this sandwich for him. But the point is, is that when I picked his ass up from school, the kids get in the car and are like, oh, we're so excited. What are we going to eat today? And Mateo goes, sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> Isaac turns around and looks at him and says, you got sandwiches for your birthday dinner? Oh, what? Yeah, I would have been hot. <laughs> you could have asked for anything. He was, And I'm like, Isaac, don't do that. Let your little brother be. Like, let him ask <laughs> for like, it. Hey, hey, shut him up. Shut him up. Shut him up. Let him leave him, and then Eugenio's like, "Son, is there? There's really my husband. There's really nothing mommy makes that you like other than sandwiches." And I was like, "Fuck, am I that bad of a cook?" Mm. <laughs> oh, other plot twist. So he's like, "No, please, just sandwiches, God. Yeah, please, just like sandwiches. the easiest thing. Leave the pans <laughs> in there." <laughs> and so we had sandwiches. But I'll tell you what, I have to make you guys these sandwiches. Because my stepson, my stepson, my stepdad came yesterday with my mom. Mind you, my stepdad and I don't have the best relationship, but he came and we're cordial. And he said yesterday, as I gave him the sandwich and he was eating it, I don't even think he realized it. He goes, this is one of the best sandwiches I've ever ate in my life. Oh, he looks at you he's like, I love you. <laughs> You're my daughter. And then, <laughs> Papa! I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's my fault. And I looked I looked over and I told my husband, all it took was 20 years and a sandwich. for and a sandwich. to say something nice about me. But he's never, ever said anything nice about me. And then when he, he gave me the plate, you know, like he was done, he goes, you've come a long way, Rios. Damn. <laughs> but anyway, the sandwiches were really good. And I only have one picture I of it. I my stepdad. Oh, word, fam? Sourdough bread. I really outdid myself I with mean, the sandwich. I mean, like your son, I'm also easy to impress with food. I'm like, oh, I'll take a sandwich. <laughs> no, but these sandwiches were, I think they were great. But a fucking sandwich, bro, for I'd your have been birthday? <laughs> I would have punched them. Yeah. Isaac was, I'd been like, you should have seen the look on his face. Mr. I want some steak and a one sauce and, i know that's good know, taste God. even wings like a whole thing of wings is fire too yeah he but i make jeremiah like four different wings flavors you know like finger foods hummus dang pito he's just and they were like what you did what sandwiches but that's what we had for Mateo's birthday. I would have done, uh, what's that, Full Metal Jacket? Where they hold him down and hit him with the bar of soap. <laughs> with the bar of soap. <laughs> yeah. Can you believe Eugenio played that movie? If you guys haven't seen Full Metal Jacket, <laughs> can you believe he played that movie for the kids two years ago? Do the math. They were 10, 11 years old. Yeah, I was around that same age. Yeah. Maybe younger. Guys, that's an Full Metal Jacket? What do you mean? It's a military. It's They're a only five years away from that if they sign up. That's true. And the way this world's going... They might not even have a choice. <laughs> they might just get taken over there. That's inappropriate. As a parent, do you do you think your mom would say something like if you decided to go to the military, like she'd be against it? Probably. My dad, I, like, don't get me wrong. My dad loves super soldiers, patriotic. hates the military. That makes any sense. Like, he'll never go against a soldier. Hey, do you? But, like, he's like, you'll never, like... I remember one time, I don't know how... A recruiter got a, a hold of my phone number to the house, and he called, and he's like, "Oh, I'm here to. I'm trying to speak to, to Julian Gutierrez. It was like my junior senior year, and my dad got livid. Don't ever call this house again. I don't know. And he went off on me. Like we got in a huge fight over it. Like huge. Like I were left you, the house. Were you trying to go? No, I don't know how he got my number. Probably just signed up for something free because that's what they do. They do oh, a lot yeah. of free stuff. You sign up. Shout out. Ends up being a recruiter. Shout out to Power 16 Street Team. <laughs> <laughs> My husband's story is like he just said that he caught himself not like not putting in the effort and he was looking at people around him and he was just kind of like, I'm going to end up like that. One homie died. The other guy overdosed. A lot of them were like on drugs. And he's like, if I don't get my shit together, I'm going to go. And I need to get my shit together like ASAP. So he went and signed himself up. Yeah, Next I mean week, that was before college or you're out. after college. I know it was college before. Too, right? It was before, and then he came back, and, and then they he did college, and he was doing back and forth as he was there, and um, and yeah, he said that that really helped him get. I mean, life. it does help people who kind of need it. Like I have family who's military, and 
I've seen friends join military and it turns them around. So yeah, like I don't think people are really against it, but the idea of their own child like leaving for how many years and you belong to the government, it's yeah. a scary idea. And especially like nowadays, the way like there's been such a distrust in the government because a lot of things come out and stuff like that. Where it's just like it was like that before. Like I, I'm again, my dad's patriotic. He's a citizen now. He has to be patriotic. No, but like he would like. <laughs> He would tie the flags to the trucks before, like, it became a Trump thing to do. We had a, a flag in the back of the truck, a pickup truck with the flag, and like, oh, I man, know that's crazy. I used to wear patriotic, a, a like, I used to wear a USA shirt, but people would just assume I'm Trumping. Yeah, once the, I can't even wear it no once more. Once the Tea Party started with Obama, that's the the flag kind of lost its, like, yeah. oh, you have a flag, it's like, oh, you're a Trumper, like, yeah, yeah. it sucks. Like I'm born on Fourth of July Trump. too, and everything's USA with me. But yeah, he would like, not anymore. I'm telling you, we got we got into a fight, almost physical fight. Over like just a recruiter finding my name and number and getting a hold of me like calling the house. Yeah. But your kids watching Full Metal Jacket, it, doesn't that scare them from not wanting to do it? Mm, uh, Isaac has mentioned like going into the military, and I've never really thought of it like a bad thing because I'm always thinking like, well, if you fucking need it, kid, either I take you or you go sign up, you know? Um, but I've never thought like, I've never thought too uh, serious about it. I'm always thinking, you know what, what scares me most? Like I've never really had a military thought. I've always had more of a motorcycle thought. Mm -hmm. I know it sounds silly, but I have a no, greater those are fear. Dangerous. I have a greater fear of my child coming home saying he wants to ride a motorcycle then my child coming home and saying he wants to join the military. I haven't really gave the military idea a thought, which it should be because my husband is a Marine. Yeah. Um, but it's not like my kids. I don't know. I don't get that vibe from them yet, but they're still young. Um, and uh, it's more of um, um, uh, like a defiant thing. Like mm. if I say, which I've never voiced to them, that I don't want them to ever fucking get a motorcycle. Because I feel like if I say that, then they're going to want to go get it. one. But to me, like, oh, my God, these kids are going to start driving very soon. And if one of them tells me that they want a motorcycle, I don't know what I'm going to do. I would literally kick them out of the house. <laughs> what? If they tell me that they want a motorcycle. There's no way in hell that I'll let you buy one. You got to move out. But the gotta... military you're okay with? I know. It sounds crazy. I'm not saying I'm okay with it. I'm just saying I haven't really thought about it. Like, I think, si me pongo a pensar, Well, just know quizá. they're more likely to join the military than they're going to get a motorcycle. You need to get your priorities straight. <laughs> yeah. Like, again, But then again, husband's my husband's a Marine, and he might feel like there's benefits to it. So it's like... There are, I mean, financially, yeah. Benefits are motorcycle, too. Lane splitting. <laughs> Shout out to and the VA how, loan. How, how I much, got How my... much traffic were we in today? I, imagine, I was like, yes. all the motorcycles passing me by, I was like, mother. I just wanted to, like, open a door. <laughs> like, slow down. Listen, you get a ton of benefits from joining the military, my husband had a VA loan. We got our second property because of because of the VA loan. So I'm not gonna get into that. <laughs> I'm just saying how it benefit me. How the <laughs> military benefit me. <laughs> Uncle uh, Sam over here. <laughs> we want you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, eh, but yes, it is super patriotic. I I feel like I used to be super patriotic, but now I'm not. And then like now, like when I see like the Mexican flag, like the other day I passed by a house and Isaac goes, "Why do they have the Mexican flag out there if we live in the U.S.?" And I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, that's a great question, but they just feel like they're proud of where they're from. And he's yeah. like, well, they're from here too, right? If they're here. And I'm like, well, yeah, they can have both Yeah, flags. okay, fool. <laughs> Turn on Fox News and see if you feel the same way. Like, <laughs> see you. It's not that we're here. It's, it's how we're made felt, like how we feel about being here, like how they make us feel. And a lot of people that ride that flag make us feel like second-rate citizens. You know who doesn't make me feel like a second-rate citizen? Mexico. We do that to other minorities in Mexico. <laughs> Not us. Well, um, so I am proud of where I come from, but we're from Los Angeles, right? Yes. So there's this new study <laughs> that reveals that the funnest cities, there's a list. Do you want to know what LA came in at? It's Number fun. one. The funnest city? Yeah. C cities? The, <laughs> take the, hat the city. <laughs> <laughs> It said the funnest cities. Three California. Uh, it says three California cities named the most fun in America. Three? Three. I feel like Anaheim has to be one. Like, you have Disneyland. 
It says mm. looking to have some fun but don't know where to go. Turns out you don't She's have to travel hook. too far <laughs> if you want to be in the most fun cities in the U.S. Okay, so this study says uh, the cities were L.A., San Diego, and San Francisco. L.A. came in at number 20. 20? Yeah. Out of all those cities in the U.S., that's pretty good. There's what, like 100,000 cities in the U.S.? Where's Vegas? Number Vegas. one. Oh, of course. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Florida, Orlando, Florida came in at number two. What? Orlando? Not even Miami? Miami came in at number three. Atlanta, Georgia came in at number four. Never been. Never been. San Francisco came in at number five. Over New Orleans? New Orleans came in at number six. Nah, New Orleans got to be top five for sure. Never Austin, been. Texas. Came in at number seven. Never been, but I heard great things about their barbecue. El Chicago, Illinois, number eight. Chicago out over us, bro? Like, Chicago. It's warm, freezing. Warm two days out of the year. <laughs> like, you ever been to the south side of Chicago? Honolulu, like, number nine. Uh, New York, number 10. Cincinnati, Ohio. I, nah. <laughs> Yo, there's some slander. Where'd here, you bro. get there's this from? LA slander. I, we, <laughs> say the source. Denver, Colorado. Say the source. Came in at number 12. No way, there's Denver. no way that Cincinnati, oh, there's nothing in Ohio, not even the Hall of Fame that's better than LA. LeBron's there. not even there anymore. <laughs> yeah, LeBron was like, he was born there. Fort Lauderdale came in at number 18. That's where all the crazies are at. Houston, this, Texas came in at number This sounds really hot to me. <laughs> This sounds like one of those. It sounds like one of Isaac's people, the ones that are proud to be here. <laughs> Coming in at number twenty, Los Angeles. Fuck out of here. Wait, so S San Francisco's five, and we're twenty. San Francisco is in the middle. You know why, right? There's no way. You know, it, it's it's an East Coast bias because everyone says San Francisco is like the closest, like the most. It's more like an East Coast city than it is a West Coast city. Yeah. San Francisco is like five blocks Portland, long. Portland, Oregon. Is oh, on top of. It's like the most depressed. Isn't that the most depressed? Oh, that's Washington. Washington. But it's always raining. Well, I'm glad you said that because Washington is number 15. See, nah, there's someone, on top of LA. There's someone in there that it's. It, I I need the author. When you look at the author, there has to be some gripe they against fucking LA. Hate right? LA. Yeah. You know what? They're probably stuck on the five <laughs> for one hour. No, you know what's even And crazy? they're like, this is not LA fun. LA to them is probably like Hollywood Boulevard, like the the Sunset yes. Boulevard, West West Hollywood, like. Okay, so. Your family comes, or a, a friend, a loved one, comes from somewhere else. That doesn't matter. <laughs> Vietnam, obviously. Where are they coming from, <laughs> Melissa? <laughs> okay, so a family member, someone, viene a visitarnos, right? They come they, to hang out. Where's the first place you're taking them? Depends where they're coming from. Yeah. Like, okay. if they're coming from know. Mexico, I'm not going to take them to Pasito, but like, they'll laugh at us. Yeah, I don't want to take them to do some Mexican shit. Okay. But like a Dodger game? <laughs> I'm just saying, like, if they're coming from Mexico really, and they'll do Mexican stuff. Any sporting stuff, event like, in LA matches, like, yeah. or tops any sporting event anywhere else around the world. Like, yeah. Except maybe, like, college football, because in the Midwest, that's all they have. Yeah. But, like, and usually sporting Applebee's. events is a good go to. <laughs> <laughs> college, college football and Applebee's, baby. <laughs> go, dog! Roo, 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 roo. Where are you going to take them? I don't know. I usually don't host. <laughs> the club, <laughs> Travesuras. <laughs> mm, I take them to La Jolla. You know, it's not really LA, but like a SoCal thing. It's just like, it's because, it, again, LA is very Mexican, like, or Latino based. So, right. Yeah, Latinos coming from their homeland, but we base it off of. So, like, my cousin came from Michoacan or my niece. Uh, we took her to the beach. Yeah, like things they wouldn't. They don't have a beach. Uh, <laughs> the concert. Yeah, we took her to the concert. Mm -hmm. uh, I took her to uh, hiking to um, the Griffith Observatory. <laughs> I took her hiking, and she wanted to kill me. I know. Imagine, like, if I take my cousins, like, hiking. They'd be like, fool, we crossed the border to not hike no more, <laughs> doggy. Like. But it was a beautiful view, so she appreciated it. My mom took her to Disneyland and SeaWorld. You know where I would take them? To an SDL party. <laughs> I just want to say thank you to SDL pros. I mean, we haven't done this event yet, but the amount of uh, help and enthusiasm that they said, ahí estamos, we're there, 
put us down on the list when we said that we were going to do this event on the 14th of December. Vamos a ir a una escuela eh, a darle regalos to go and share some joy and help a los niños más necesitados. So basically, we have a friend who went to this school uh, and she said que los niños, they don't have balls. She said that 30 of the families are reported homeless. So that kind of goes to show what kind of Family. Students are there and families that are yeah. affected and it's a whole thing. And, and she sent us a video and the kids are during recess and they have like four balls y mm. son muchos niños and they just don't have the stuff that most LAUSD, if your children go, you know, that they, they, yeah. they have some stuff, but these kids están muy necesitados. Entonces, we've been trying really hard to uh, recaudar uh, gifts. You don't have to donate any money. All you have to do is click the link. We'll put it here. There, here, 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 Finn. I'm not doing that. Wherever. Not this time. <laughs> Wherever. Um, and you can click the link. But what I'm trying to say is SDL Pros, when we said we're doing this event, immediately they were like, we're there. What can we help you guys with? And so mm -hmm. it really shows character. Um, no me digas que puedes hacer por la persona that does something for you. Show me who you can help that you're going to get no benefit from. And I'll tell you what kind of person they are. And so SDL Pros really... Um, we admire you. Thank you so much for helping us out. And I've told you before, and I'll tell you again, if you are not planning a party yet, you still want to go follow them on Instagram. You want to save screenshot their, um, right here, their link. That way you have it for future reference. Because although you're not planning a party now. Or well, somebody's going to ask, like, hey, do you know a DJ? Do you know MC? Yeah. So, sometimes I'll be like, hey, we need a stage, we need speakers, we need lights, and yeah. you could get all that in one. And it, it really helps. So shout yep. out SDL Pros. Speaking of SDL Pros, el MC, the SDL Pros, <laughs> yo conozco a un MC que se fue a hacer MC for los Dodgers. Y yo conozco Ooh. a un DJ que se fue a hacer pricky, pricky, pricky. <laughs> <laughs> the Dodgers. Guys, I'm going to let it slide because <laughs> we're so excited. I'm so high. <laughs> Guys, what happened? So, blessings on blessings from this guy right here. For the record, you you were supposed to be somewhere else. Yeah. Mm. So, I was supposed to do an event for with at work with Kel OS. George Thorogood was bad to the bone. I was excited for that. I was going to have a heck of a day. It was going to be fun and everything. That morning... Vinny Mac calls me. He's like, hey, are, are you doing anything today? I was like, yeah, I'm doing anything. He's like, can you get out of it? I was like, Ugh, I don't know. Like, what's going on? And as soon as he said, Dodgers. He goes, can you pick me up from the airport? Nah, nah. fan. Nah, no puedo. Nah. No puedo. <laughs> you should no. have done that. So, like, and then he said, yo, the Dodgers, the Christmas thing, uh, the MC couldn't do it no more. You want? I was like, yes. Before I even finished, I was like, yes, <laughs> stop. What are you doing? I called Brian. I was like, hey, B, like, I can't go to work. Brian, Brian tried is to, like, compa del trabajo. Yeah, he's my, he's technically the boss, but we work together. And he tried to, hey, he, he's like, hey, man, I, I really need you. And I was like, mm, <laughs> do you, though? Are you sure about that? Like, oh, man. So, yeah, we went to the event. I got spruced up. I bought a, like, a nice little turtleneck with my sports coat. Hey, where did you get that coat? I've never seen you wear that coat before. Mm. Where did you get that? Hey, JC Penny, Shaquille O'Neal, sponsor your boy Shaq. I was shacked out. Everything was Shaq. Really? Everything was shocked. You went to go buy it that day. No, no, I've had the coat for a minute. I just haven't had a chance to use it. Uh-huh. But, um... The yeah, turtleneck. So, yeah, the turtleneck was shocked, too. Because I was like, man, how can I... I didn't want to just wear a regular button-up because I had to get a tie or just... It doesn't fit sometimes for bigger guys. Don't laugh. So I had to get a turtleneck and the turtleneck... Cause I, you know why? At the JCPenney at the West Covino Mall, if you go to the Big and Tall, there's a picture of Shaq wearing a similar thing like that. And I was like... Hey, Shaq, you're looking kind of good, my dude. Like, so I was like, all right, got to copy that. So I went to, got the turtleneck and everything and dressed up, spruced up. You looked up. really good. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We look good. When I got dressed up, so he had a little white bow tie. Can I, wait, let, let me. No, it, it, you guys it, look when good. He you said his, you guys look no, good. No, you, you looked really, really good. Thank I you. was, I see, I've seen Vinny dressed up before like in i don't know where i've seen you in a bow tie though i think it's in like in your instagram like be like oh uh, older further, stuff uh, older stuff i've seen that look on him before i know he looked good however i had never seen you in a coat Damn, I and a in, in a front of you. turtleneck it was a it was turtleneck, a turtleneck. That, that was a game changer yeah 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 the turtleneck was like i <laughs> like i almost on. wanted a turtleneck <laughs> you want one now <laughs> like i almost wanted one you tell him to let you borrow it <laughs> Like you, you let him borrow the coat? 
You can't come uh, between no, us in this can't. moment right now, bro. <laughs> you can't come between us in this moment right now. <laughs> Anyways, it was a great, great event. Um, I was starstruck for the first time in I don't know how long. The president of the company, Stan Caston, he was standing next to me the whole time, and then like I didn't realize it was him. Fuck, no, until... Juju looked at me and he was like, "That's not him." <laughs> and then uh, they heard him. Cause yeah, cause they're like, cause like, I was like, oh, where's like, I was telling like the bigness, where's these people? And then like, oh, are you gonna introduce Stan? And I was like, <laughs> and I got to introduce Stan Cast. It was like on the side, it wasn't like I got, to, but it was like dope. Hosted it, everyone had fun, killed it. And then, well, he could tell his side of the story, but music was great. Did people have fun? People had a blast. Uh, honestly, I just want to give a shout out to Erica. She does the Cali Dream yep. Market. I, I, I mean, we know her from work before a pandemic and stuff, and. She hit me up about, I want to say, a month ago. And at first, I was like, do you mean the Dodger Dodgers? Because she, like, it was a quick text, like, hey, we need a DJ for the Dodgers. I'm going to get on a call right now. Are you available? She meant the Covina Dodgers. <laughs> and I was like, yes, absolutely. And then she was like, oh, well, what's your budget, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, whatever they want. Like, I don't care. It's the Dodgers. <laughs> the um, Dodger hat. <laughs> and, like, they confirmed me and all that. And, and honestly, I sat with the news for, like, a month. So it, it was... Uh, it was hard for me to hold on to all that. You were kind of excited. I didn't understand your excitement. No, my, I mean... I'm sorry, mind my ignorance. But I didn't understand your excitement. And you and you were like, yeah. And you're like, I have to be ready. And I didn't get it until I saw you both. And I saw the little twinkle in your guys' eye. And I was <laughs> like, this is a big deal. No, this was huge. Because, I, I mean, for me growing up, the way I grew up... And I grew up in Boyle Heights, right? Which is like right there on the other side of downtown LA. Like the other side of the bridge. Right. and. You know, sports is the escape, and Dodgers are one of the first teams that I was in love with. And every year, year in, year out, you go to the games, you look forward to them, and it's, you know, and everyone loves it. So for me to be called by them, the HR people, and I was on a Zoom call with them like a couple weeks ago, and they're asking me questions and all these things, and I'm getting this opportunity to be a part of it. It's just like, it didn't hit me until probably after the event, but... The event itself was was great. I was nervous as fuck. And honestly, shout out to Juju for pulling for pulling through. Um, we had an MC originally, and last minute she had another event to attend to, which, I mean, it was huge too on her end. So uh, it's hard to pick which one. And so to call Juju in the morning and he was down, it helped me so much because I was a nervous wreck Are leading you, into it. Were you? I was nervous because... Uh, it's the Dodgers, right? So it's like I have to show up and show out. I need to show them that I could do any and every genre they ask for, whatever they need. They need to make sure everything is on point, everything sounds clean. And, like, I didn't know. And, and my meeting bef with, before with them was, like, what kind of music do you want? And they were like, we don't know. It's, re it's a really mixed crowd, which kind of right. threw me off. So I showed up very blind. So what kind of music did you play? everything like i showed up everything. like i showed up and i'm Ready. like you know what i'm gonna do christmas music for like half an hour then after the half an hour i'm gonna get into like the poppy music like the bruno mar justin bieber type stuff because you know it's mostly white folks so i was like kind of just treading lightly um and i was you know i'm gonna test out some bad bunny just to like like the softer stuff just to see how people react and i had juju i was like hey keep a lookout if you see anyone and he's like, hey, I see some head bobbing. So I was like, all right, cool. So this some little. And then as it went on, like I was getting more comfortable and whatever. But um, once they did the awards, which we have to get into the oh. uh, the ridiculous giveaways after. Um, after they did the, the giveaways and all that, uh, that's when they were like, oh, let's get the party started. So I'm treading lightly like Michael Jackson and, you know, just super upbeat, you know, safe stuff. Vanilla. Very vanilla. And um, like shout out to Erica. Erica said, "Hey, one of the people really like Mana. So can you play um, Me Vale? I think Me Vale, yeah. Can you play Me Vale? And I was like, "Fuck! I'm in the middle of playing pop music. And I'm, I'm, how am I gonna go straight into that?" And you know, Juju was quick with the. I told Juju, "Yeah, hey, I'm gonna go to Mana. Like, say something." <laughs> and so I echoed out. And what did I, you say? Well, he told me it was for... Uh, si no out. traen calzones, make some noise! Yeah. Uh, um, uh, he told me it was for Ariel. That, uh, she was one of the HR, she went Ariel HR people. David, the HR people. And he's like, oh, it's for her, and she's going to do the plan. So I was like, all right, cool. But just like He just gave me bullet points, and I just ran with it. So I was like, hey, yo, you know, this one special day could give up to, for Ariel. She planned the whole thing, and I make some noise. And then and they did the song, song, and people were like, oh, hey, oh yeah. And then, and, no, and then he was like very quick with it, like, 
oh, if if you don't uh, if you don't know this song, find the closest Mexican to you and go dance with them and do what they're doing. Like, she like that, right? And then when I was like, all right, cool. Somebody else requested something else. Hey, Juju, I'm gonna do this. All right, cool. So it helped with the transition. Like for me, like I could get I could get on the mic and do something similar, probably not as great, but be like, oh, I'm gonna switch it up, this and that, and then throw the song. But I have so much going on. But having him kind of relieved the pressure of all that, like, right? Because people are like, "Oh, you want YG? Oh, we want La Chona." We, yo, yeah. Once a couple of requests started coming, and the rest started coming, then like, yeah. hey, he was he. And there's people who are like, "Hey, can you switch? Yeah. Like, we don't want this. We want something else. <laughs> we don't want." And I'm like, "All right, cool." So I was trying to just flow the whole night, but thankfully it was a great crowd. They all stood on the dance floor. It was I don't know if you saw the. I'll probably post the. The video of the Peppa's part, like, it was... Yeah. Like, the whole crowd was there. It was packed. And afterwards, the HR people were just, you know, um, they're like, yo, this is one of the best holiday parties we've ever had. Usually people don't stay this long or the dance floor's not even packed. So it was the first time we had this, and it we was great. We stayed past the closing time. Like, it was supposed to be at 11. We're like at 11 30 ish. They wanted to keep going for sure. Like, they did not want to leave well, at all. Congratulations. So. Okay. It came out great. It was. Uh, I want to read uh, Vinny's caption on his picture when he posted. So, the boys were obviously on cloud nine, right? Uh, and so, if you're having a hard time, especially durante esta temporada de Navidad, maybe you're going through something, you're really reconsidering your life choices. Like, what am I doing? Am I at the right. At, doing the right thing career wise relationship wise um a lot of times at the end of the year a lot of us like reflect on what mm -hmm. we're doing did we do our new year's resolutions uh what are we gonna do different are we stagnant a lot of questions right uh go through our, our head but i read this and i thought mm, how nice is it to see that someone's on the right track uh and so i wanted to share it with you guys so Vinny posted this picture and said, my type of blue Christmas. I can't take I can't thank the Dodgers staff enough. P.S. Somebody pinch me. I wasn't supposed to make it this far. What does that yep. mean? You weren't supposed to make it this far. Well, at the end of the thing, I put a statistic or like something that this it's from the CDC website. And I saw it a long time ago. The children of teenagers are more likely to have lower school achievement and drop out of high school, have more health problems, be incarcerated at some time during, uh, how you say, adolescencia? Adolescence. <laughs> Adolescence, give birth as a teenager and face unemployment as a young adult. Yeah. So that's the statistic. That's one of the things I've seen, but I've always grown up knowing that I've had a 16 year old mother and you know a young dad and we're from Boyle Heights and during that era is one of the deadliest times in LA for there so for us to make it out to begin with is a blessing in disguise but I'm out here rubbing elbows with the Dodgers you know so it's it was a nice cherry on top for everything I've been doing and it's like a reminder like all right I'm doing something right I'm in the right place yeah. I'm overlooking downtown LA we're in the Grammy Museum which is insane yeah you know like i'm djing yeah i mean it was cold by the way but i'm <laughs> djing and i'm like turn turn around and it's the fucking city right and i'm like fuck i grew up on the other side of the bridge and now you're here trying to make ends meet that's awesome yeah. congratulations boys thank you and shout out to juju i'm telling you he made me sound oh, hey, way better than i was <laughs> When I have to, you know. Oh, yeah. I love it. I wish I was there. It seemed like such a good time. Um, and so I'm really happy for both of you guys because I know both of you guys have had different struggles. I think everybody obviously has struggles, mm -hmm. but both of you guys have had different struggles. And, you know, sometimes like you were either close to quitting or like Biddy said, I'm not supposed to be here. And so you're kind of fighting against the grain. Juju was about to quit. And now look at God. Yeah, look at God. Look really. at us. And in the year, right. Look yeah. at us. Who would have thought? Yep. That was just day me. one of Juju's birthday celebration. Oh, God. <laughs> Come on. We did the sappy stuff. Now let's get to the real. I'm done. I know. The show's the done. Real. I don't want to talk about this. I almost saw Juju's penis on Yo, Saturday. what was that about? Like, and then I was on the, te I was at the LAFC game and okay. the FaceTime is okay. blowing up. Oh, at, shout out to LAFC, Western Conference champions, back-to-back -back years. 
They're defending the final. I want to say this Saturday, so it's huge. But at the LAFC game was amazing, and you it were was drinking coffee. You my weren't even first time alcohol. sober at an LAFC game. Usually, I don't. Usually, I get blasted at those. I saw that. I saw you were drinking cafecito. A little coffee. Um, it was fire though. But it all makes sense now. Guys, I don't know. Real quick story about Star Wars. Star Wars is about balance. <laughs> Star Wars is about balance. Stop. You have the dark side, which is how many? Us. The dark side I is mean. two. <laughs> the dark side is two. So to counter that, you need the light. But how, how do they balance it? Darth Vader had twins. Balance. It's all about balance. Mm-hmm. So with him not drinking, I don't drink like that. I've gotten drunk like that twice this year. At the beginning, when I was in the DR, which, come on, who's it's, not going to get yeah. drunk like that in the DR? And at Best Time Mucho, I got a little too inebriated. Um, I don't remember calling you guys like that. I called uh, another friend. I and answered on FaceTime, by the way. I was at the game. Well, and you were like, Best Time Mucho, and you were on the you were in the car. I was at home. Oh, they were in the car. I was no, I was at home, cooking, feeding my children, making labels like a mujer decente. I was <laughs> like a casa. lame. I was like, why is my <laughs> shit blowing up? Yeah, so, and like I woke up, I saw that, I was like, oh, shit. So that can happened. I say my story? Or why don't you tell us your story? And then no, I'll, I I'll just, come in. I had a really great time. Uh, shout out Medic, his sister and his cousin, and DJ Luigi. They all were buying me drinks the they whole got night. you fucking Luigi drunk. wasn't buying me drinks. He was giving me like. That's so right, because he wanted to see you pedal. Jack Daniels. He wanted to see you make a fool out of sh- yourself. Hey, shout out Jack Daniels. Y'all better sponsor me after this one, man, because. Uh, they Sponsor were us. Me I love Jack Daniels. I'm not drinking Jack right now. Jack and Coke but... pre-made cans. I had like six oh, of those. those. I had like six beers. Shots galore. Someone snuck in Buzz Ball. I had some of that too. And uh, one like pre-made tequila drink that they had. And uh, I was going good. What was the last thing you remember? Uh, the last thing I remember was that I was at the Jack Daniels booth. And Los Angeles Azules had just started. And these fools started with uh, Amor, Amor, Amor. I was like, amor. that's all I wanted to see. <laughs> so I was like, oh, they started. So we went that way. And... I don't even think we left right away. I was like, oh, so let's go, let's go. And then I remember bits and pieces of Pepe Aguilar. And then I, the last thing I remember before I remember everything again was coming to at Union Station. My brother was picking me up. Like, hey, get in the car. And I was like, oh, shit. How did I get? Let's go. Okay. So in that, in that little that you don't remember, I get a call from Juju. And if you know me, you know that I'm going to answer your call. One thing about me is that I always answer your call or I return your call. Mm-hmm. I always, I'm always answering phone calls, uh, especially when it's like, wait, why is this person calling me? Unless I'm going through something. Shout out to my friend Myrna. <laughs> She's like, oh, here you go because I don't up. answer sometimes. Or my dad. Like if I'm going through something, <laughs> I don't answer like phone But drunk calls. Juju, you answer. No, but. Twice. but this, is the second, this is the second time. Second time. But no, 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 because it's kind of like Mario also has called me when he's drunk and I answer, right? Like, hey, are you guys okay? It's when I'm going through something that I like exclude myself from my my mirrors, my friends who can look me in the eye and be like, what's wrong? Like, what's really going on? You know, so I don't talk to them. I talk to everyone else. Anyway, so I'm at home and I get a FaceTime from Juju and I'm like, hello, hello. Hey, hey. And I'm like, what happened? Hello, hello. Hang up. Calls me again regular. I answer. Hey, Melissa, I need you right now. I need you right. And I'm like, puta, que paso? He's like, I need you to talk to me. I need you to distract me. Tell me anything. And I'm like, is he mad? Is he about to get into a fight? What is happening? I really need to pee right now. (laughs) I really need to pee right now. And I'm waiting by the portal potties. And they're taking forever. I think I'm going to pee myself. <laughs> Yo, that's what I'm going to do so, better at that, babe. That's the worst. Add porta potties, please. So, so in in a real emergency way, because he called me this time. I said, "Se va miar, güey." Imagínate this drunk person peeing on themselves. Like it's just not a good look. And it's Juju, so some people probably know who he is. Right. So I'm like, "Who's on right now? <laughs> Who's on?" And he says, "Alejandro Fernandez or something." Don't remember that. And I said, oh, is he good? Is he good? And I just start talking to him. And my husband is napping in the living room, in the living room because he woke up at 3 in the morning to juice. The kids are running around, and I'm like, let me step out because I had to yell because you couldn't hear. So I'm like, who are you listening to? Who are you? And I'm like yelling. And my husband's like, what the fuck is going on? And he's just like, where are we at? Boom, I dropped the call again. I said, fuck. I call him again FaceTime. 
And he's, I'm looking at him and we're like talking and we're, he finally, oh, a porta potty opened up. We're talking and he goes, puts the phone. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Where the toilet paper, where the toilet paper goes <laughs> and goes. And I'm watching him and I'm like, ah, and I hang up because I, I was going to see his whole dark. Yeah. And the zoom doesn't work that good. You're good. Don't worry about it. So I hang up, right? I hang up. And as soon as I hang up, I thought, ah. Juju's phone. He's so drunk that he's maybe gonna walk out of the porty potty, porta potty, and he's gonna leave his phone ah, in the little that's stand. That's when I got my attention. That's when I text the last text that we had, which was in a group. I said, Juju, your phone. Juju, text me. Juju, Juju, and I started calling him, and his phone would go straight to voicemail. And I said, Oh hell no! He left his new cell phone <laughs> in the porta potty, and they already turned it off. Damn. And I was calling him and calling him. And I said, Juju, did you get this message? Juju, listen, Juju. And I'm calling him and calling him and calling him straight to voicemail, straight to voicemail, straight to voicemail. Eventually, he answers. Yeah, we FaceTime together. That's when we FaceTime together. At the, I was at the game. And I like, saw him, you, me. We're all like, hi, and you're at the game. We're all FaceTiming. And I was like, he's fine. I'm done. This motherfucker's drunk. He needed me because he had to pee. This guy's out of game. We're done. I thought wrong. We hang up. He continues <laughs> to blow me up and to call me for the rest of the night. I send a screenshot of how many calls I had from him. Literally about 40. 40 calls from you. And then he tells me, Melissa, I fucked up. What happened? I got, I got into a fight. Or I got thrown up on. Or I was trying to save a girl. And now I smell like shit. And yeah. I got to go. I got to go. Wait, what happened? And I said, what I are you know. talking about? What are what you he, talking what, about? Maddie's like, dude, you smell like shit. You got to go. And I was like, yeah, I got to go. Like, I smell like, I was like, oh, yeah, someone threw up on me. Something happened. He pooped on himself. He didn't even notice. No, I checked my undies the next day. I was like, oh. <sighs> no, yeah, but I smell like shit. And I don't know what happened. He so probably like, in the portal potties. Mm, something happened. On something. I thought he fell. I thought he got beat up. The point is. You know, got me when I'm drunk, baby. He didn't see Los Bukis. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Have you ever seen him before? No. And the whole time I was getting excited and I was like, oh, oh I can't wait to see it. And like people were kind of taming my expectations. Like they're just like, oh, he's not going to sing his own songs because he's with Los Bukis. I don't know. Does he do that in the. Well, he sang my my favorite song is Tu Caracel and uh, what's the one? Morenita. Morenita, yo te estoy queriendo tanto. Too bad you didn't see it. I can't believe it. So you went for them? Uh, yeah, for the most part, and I missed and them. You didn't see them. But I did see Paquita del Barrio. I did see Ramon Ayala. But it's not those bookies, like. Hey, Paquita del Barrio, she's old. <laughs> and she should stop performing, but she can still sing. <laughs> no, I, I mean, no, it, 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 it really, it's, it's like they're forcing her to do it. Mm. And maybe she's, maybe she still wants to do it, but like, she comes out already sitting down. She's like this, like, like, but she could, but then like the her voice comes out, and it's just like, as good as ever. But it's maybe just it's like what keeps her going. Maybe because. Yep. Yeah, I don't know. I, maybe it is, but no, like it, you can tell. But I was. Imunda. She sang. She sang. Um. Amor Eterno, I think. And she started crying. Beautiful moment. I think I'll, I'll, I'll show the video. so easy to post it or not. I don't know if you can. Copyrights or whatever. No. Um, Can't because it'll get flagged. Oh. Yeah, so. But it was a great, from what I remember, great. And I then, thought it was just actually, an emotional like, song for you. Like, <laughs> no. <laughs> I can't. No. I can't. I can't. There, I the English lyrics. <laughs> there <laughs> is proof that I did stay to see... <laughs> Nobody cares. It wasn't Los Bukis. No, you ready for this? Okay, so. Oh, wait. Cancel. Can't play the song. I am so disappointed. It's on mute. It's on mute. But look how close. Like, shout out to Zoom on the iPhone 15. So I was like, oh, yeah, cool, cool, cool. You can go to Pico Rivera Sports Arena and see him, fam. Stop. For that close. Fam, first of all. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> slurring. 
The whole thing. Hasta te cagaste, güey. <laughs> That's crazy. That's how rumors start, fam. <laughs> Juju pooped on himself. <laughs> but yeah, so yeah, uh, got home. Or it's, uh, then I started remembering Good old everything. Days. Got home. <laughs> <laughs> um, showered, ate, went to sleep, woke up right as rain. Wasn't hungover. Went, to, got, got a good breakfast, All watched some football. All you had was a shame on your, just shame of not seeing those bookies. It's cool. Oh, Medic did say, he's like, <laughs> I guess I told Medic at some point, I was like, just make sure no one recognizes me. He's like, you big <laughs> motherfucker, and of course I'm going to recognize you. <laughs> but no one did. I, I haven't got called out yet, and I haven't seen no videos. Did anybody so. recognize you at Best Time or no? A couple people did, which is pretty dope. I was still sober. Uh-huh. So a couple did. Like, one person's like, she's like, Juke. And I look back, and you she's like, Jew? and she finished the other job. I was like, hey, girl, you got to finish the, finish it. Closer. We, we, it's hard times right now. You got to finish it. And she's like, oh, hi. And I was like, oh, hey, what's up? And then she just kept walking. I was like, all right, cool. And then someone did, because like, oh, hey, what's up? Da, da. You guys are amazing. Da, da. I was like, cool, thanks. And, and that was it. Look, I knew you were going to get blasted when I saw your pregame before you even left. And because that, that's, that, that's, that's what I used to do. So that, that's my I'm getting blasted at a festival. This goes back to balance. Shh. He doesn't do it no more, so someone had to step up and take that. And I don't, again, I get like I this year, 2023, I got like that twice. Yeah. Once in the DR and once my birthday. To me, that's fucking pretty damn good. That's awesome. like, great. I did that like four times in one month. So it's fine. A week. Remember that one week? You were just like, <laughs> <laughs> oh. Like, mom. Off of me. <laughs> get the attention off of hey, me. mom. No, um. Yeah, there was a one week, though. And so, yeah. Great. Best of which I'm going to do it again next year. I don't care who's there. I'm already going to buy tickets. Like, Or we perform there. Mm. Dang, a panel, host a panel right there. Speaking of existence, or 2024. Or DJs and you. Or DJ and hosts. 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 No, yo, we does a plus one. <laughs> yo de aquí los veo. <laughs> no, it was great. And then that was my birthday celebration. Next day, again, chilled with the family, watched some football, ate breakfast. Was, shout out Abby. She Her team got second place at a tournament. She had a little ring and everything. Went to go eat, got peer pressured into a beer by my dad. Couldn't finish it. He's like, you're not going to drink? It's your birthday. And I know he was doing that because I was drunk the night before and he saw me. <laughs> But I was like, no, no. And he's like, oh, it's your birthday. Da, da, da. And I was like, well, no one's going to drink with me. And then fucking shout out David, my brother-in-law. I'll have a drink. I'm like, oh, he's like, I got a drink already. And I was like, let me get a Pacifico. Happy birthday to, to you. <laughs> you. Happy so birthday Usually to he Juju. does it. So. Yeah. Um, happy birthday to Juju. How old are you now, Juju? I'm on that felly fell. I had a birthday. Really? You're not gonna say how old? No, I'm 36. I'm not afraid. I'm not ashamed. What do you want for 36? What are you manifesting? Uh, damn, I don't want to say it out loud because I feel like it didn't no. won't come true. Oh. I have plans. I have goals. Definitely okay. more radio or on air time. My own show on the weekend. That okay? You're manifesting your yeah. own show on the weekend. Um, more success at this podcasting thing. This thing. I have this. I have this vision. What's it about? At, Stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I have this vision Nothing? of us getting picked up by Barstool Sports. And you heard me say this before. Dave Portnoy. Yeah. Dave Portnoy, if you're hearing this, man, you need Latinos on your team. You got the whites. You got some black people on there. Let's get some Latinos in there. And you'll the trifecta. I promise you. It will be great for you. Call me. Let's get some pizza. Well, you should call him, fucker. I'll call you, <laughs> Dave. Send him an Instagram <laughs> Mr. message. Mr. P. I mean, I DJ too, so get two for yeah. one. I'm just saying. Um, and yo, I I've been manifesting to do something with the Dodgers, and I think we found our way in um, through that uh, by that performance. Like, oh no, I I was very vocal oh. to the HR. Yeah. <laughs> Usually, I'm not. I'm very like, nah. I'll let I'll let the opportunity happen. I was like, HR. Hey, <laughs> if you guys have an opening, call me. Yeah. Call this guy. Like, if you think this was great, imagine me in that setting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'd got to throw it out there. And I mean. That's awesome. And it's something you got to do. They're very receptive. Where so. I'm learning that. So what's one lesson that you learned from 35? Take more chances. Like, don't be afraid to fail. Not that I. No, I mean, like, I, again, it's been a huge success, but take more chances. Definitely take more chances and like. 
I think within the month there's gonna be some change. Either really, really good or like it's just change. Like it's just You're hanging out with Melissa too much. Like <laughs> when she says change, it's no, I'm I'm manifesting the good change, not I don't Melissa know. Manifest. Listen, all change is good. Cause even though sometimes you think it's bad, Diosito's just telling you. Oh no, I love not change. Yeah, not nah, like even though it doesn't happen the way you and expected it. I'm actually it. learning that from Vinny Mac. Like, yo, like he's he says like, yo, I'm already over it, and I was like, oh shit, like, and here I am, like, like oh, who, earlier you said because the holidays you reflect more, and so for me it's a double reflection. Mm-hmm. It's end of the year, it's the holidays, and it's my birthday. The, mm. the devil's triangle right there, dude. Yeah. Like, so yeah, and it's like, of course. At 36, you get kind of scared, like, yo, I don't have a serious girlfriend. At 36, my brother already had two kids, like, so it's scary, but at the same time, it's like, my brother also hasn't traveled across, like, the world, you know? And not that it's, not that he regrets it, he loves his kids, and he loves what he does, he loves coaching the, the girls, but my family's never been further east than Texas. I've been in New York, I've been in Miami, you know, I, they, they've never been any other country except Mexico. I've been to the DR, I've been to Panama for a night, random night, like, so you're just living your life different. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I think you get, it's the pressures of like a 36 year old Latino without a wife, kids or family or like a steady job. It scares people. But to me, it's just like, it's an opportunity. To, Are you happy? Yes. Well, I mean, look at it this way. If I call you and you had a kids and wife and I were, let's say you were a single dad and I called you and I said, Hey, can you do this daughter thing tonight? I would have been like, kids, you're by your own. <laughs> you gotta wor- but you got to worry about... Child seat, you tape them and... Yeah, but you got to worry out. about extra stuff. This is just but like... But would have made it happen. Yeah. They would have been there with me. But the, stre- <laughs> but the stress would have been different. Yeah. yeah. No, and, and, and I think sometimes it's just like you feel the fear of your parents, like... Projecting on you? Yeah, because, I, yo, again, at 36, my dad was a full-ass man. He had all of us, like... He was a grown-ass, like, a family. And, then, and But I think sometimes they don't understand the difference in the world right now like yo back then hoes didn't want me <laughs> they don't me no but like it was obviously easier for like to rent easier to do like i think people don't really understand that so i like, don't think it was i think it was easier but more than anything the idea of a fulfilling life was different yeah. you're supposed to get married you're supposed to have kids you're supposed a nine to nine to do, five this like, is the regular thing and you're not living by those norms yeah. and as long as you're happy for all we care you can be an artist on venice fucking in la calle de Venice en una tiendita pintando and if that would make you happy then that's your life mm-hmm. fulfilled you know what I mean yeah. so it's just like I mean there's people with all that stuff that are unhappy so right all so that matters is happiness. all that matters is that you're happy and if you're not happy c- completely because you could be happy but still want more yeah you know um, but the fact that you said, yes, I am happy. And these are the things I want to continue to grow and like develop myself. I think that's all you can ask for. Que Diosito te dé muchos años más de vida. But I'm sure he's going to listen to everything you're trying to manifest. And he's gonna... But in a good way, God, please don't give me the Melissa special <laughs> manifestation. Please. <laughs> listen, this whole Melissa special manifesting came this year when I became ungrateful. And God had to humble me a little bit. A lot, a lot of it. <laughs> no, I can't. Again, bit. like the blessings that the blessings that come to us is crazy, and a lot of it has to do with you two. Like, just saying my name in the right places, inviting me to places, like, and then not only that, but like going to those places and people be like, "Yeah, I know who you are." Like, it's just like, "Oh shit!" Like, damn, it, it's it's uh, what am I? Lo- the word I'm looking for, like, it's a uh, not reassuring. It's um, gratifying. Not gratifying, but like I'm, I acknowledge you. I'm uh, validating. validating. Like it's very validating. Well, don't minimize yourself. You mm-hmm. put in the work. You show up every Monday, you know, and your personality and who you are. You bring a lot to the table. Vinny, not no, once yeah, said and, that you just showed up yeah. to the Dodger. Like you did your job. Yeah, I remember you. But you put me on. I'm not here if it wasn't for you. And but you've paid that back to unfold. And I know it's like it's like this big gratitude fest. But no, it's like yo. I've been this guy for 10 years. Yeah. I've never not once not been authentically me. I've always been that guy in the mic. I, it's just, it just wasn't the right time. And it's just, and, and, but the right time comes with people putting you the, the right in the right people. position. Like, yeah, like it's just like, I know some people are like, oh no, I did it myself. No, no, there's no such thing as doing it yourself. There's always a stroke of luck, a blessing from God, and a blessing of friends that like put you in the right position to succeed. Like everything that I've accomplished in a year. I didn't accomplish in the nine years prior to that because and it was because of you guys. Like, like you said, I was ready to quit. 
Yeah. I had literally applied for a job at a school district. Cause I was like, dude, it's time. You just got to get benefits, bro. You just got to get good benefits and you're good. Get dental, get health, da-da. And I was like, all right, cool. And I didn't get that job. And I was like, well, I don't know what the fuck I'm going to do. And then you came along. He's like, yeah, I want you to board out for me. You're in the studio anyways. Might as well do some work. And it, and now look at me. Now I even have benefits from work because of it. Because I get more hours and stuff like that. So. La Guadalupana. <laughs> la Guadalupana. And in a stroke of uh, full circleness, I really need a piece. So can we wrap this up? <laughs> Emphasis on stroke. Pull it out right now. <laughs> turn off the camera the way I turned Once off you my the phone. Lights gotta be hey, dimmer. listen, it's because I'm a good friend. Because I could have just stayed there and be like, screenshot. <laughs> Again, I mean, I would have. Zoom, zoom don't work that good. It was too dark. <laughs> I just like, that when I call you guys drunk and I'm taking my pants off for you guys to do the same thing. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm just I'm hanging up. Yeah. But again, I also, get shot. <laughs> I said it once and I said it before. If you don't get a call from me when you're when I'm shit faced, or if you get a call from me when I'm shit faced, that means that I really love you. So if you don't get a call, work harder. Yeah. <laughs> I got a tech uh, email from Vinny saying I love you. I got let that go. That was not me. <laughs> I I that was a demon that hopped on him. <laughs> I, yo, that was I said the de- same thing. I'm a, I'm a, I gotta send you that. But the next day I was like, "Hey guys, if you got a call or a text or a DM from me, that wasn't me. I'm sorry. That's that was drunk Juju, also now known as Druju. So yeah. when Druju calls you, you're on your Remember own. Remember the demon they used to walk in? <laughs> that shit, that shit went after him when I said I'm not you doing guys it no piggyback, more. Piggyback, piggyback right off. Command, okay. father. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> We love you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. We are so happy to be back in the studio. We missed you guys so much. Remember to go donate and help these babies out. We're going to be there el 14 de diciembre. Please share that um, link with all of your loved ones, everyone that you know. We really want to show up with some toys and something to make these kids happy. Shout mm-hmm. out to SDL Pros, our very first sponsor and our only sponsor for now. Uh, if you want to sponsor, please hit us up. Jack Daniels, <laughs> and, you owe me. And, well, shout out to Adidas for doing the uh, the soccer ball donations. Shout yeah. out to Adidas because they they donated 360 soccer balls per so. kid. Um, so make sure you click the link. All the information. Juju's about to faint. We love you guys. Comment down below what you want us to talk about in the upcoming podcast. We love you. Bye. Deuces. <laughs>